the United States, um, we couldn't afford an attorney. So seeing the struggles that we had to go through and the, how the complexities of the system was what motivated me to become an attorney. I think seeing the difference that my job makes in these people's lives, how being able to have a work permit, a green card can really have a difference, can make a difference in their lives and seeing that I can help that process in making their families and their own dreams come true. I think in general the immigrant community, uh, seeing how much people struggle when they come to this country, but knowing also that that struggle eventually is going to lead to a better life, that's what motivates me. Um, having to tell so many people that there is absolutely nothing I can do for them, that they just have to wait for some type of immigration reform because based on the current laws, they don't qualify for any type of benefit regardless of how long they have been in this country, regardless of how much they have contributed towards their communities. There's many out there that they just have no avenue for relief. After being in private practice for some time and working for somebody else and then also working in the nonprofit sector, I wanted to be my own boss and be able to make the decision as to the cases and being able to have that one-on-one -on -one communication with the client when it, where I am the attorney of record and I have a little bit more control over my practice.